Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Brands Brews, another news episode seven. We are stoked to be here at the Superior Interior at the House at Sixth Ave again. Thank you guys again for hosting. Um, it's gonna be a good night tonight. We got a couple new things planned. Uh, at the end of the episode, stick around because we're gonna try two of Master Gardener Dave's blazing jalapenos. It's gonna hurt, but we're excited for that. So today we've got uh, a fall beer from Diamond Knot Brewing Company in Muckleteo, Washington. So this beer is called Fog Bank Fall Ale which is Brant, we're losing it. technically <laughs> slightly different. <laughs> technically slightly different. We're good, it hasn't hit the floor. Um, then the Oktoberfest lager. You gonna Zamboni that? <laughs> we're gonna Zamboni that later. From the Oktoberfest lager and the pumpkin ale we had last week. So I'm honestly not quite sure <laughs> what uh, fall ale That's means. It. However, I did some research on this guy and it is a uh, reddish amber ale with a malty body, caramelly notes, and a crisp um, hoppy finish. So somewhere in between an Oktoberfest lager, and thank, thank you, Lynn, and um, a typical amber. What do you think? How's it taste? It's good, it's not very hoppy. Okay. But uh, does it taste like pumpkin? No, no, no pumpkin-y taste at all. Any fall references at all to you? It's a little fall okay. but uh, not too, not too bad. It's not not as hoppy as I thought it would be. Okay. It's still good. It's it's lighter than than I thought it would be. So nice. it's, it's good. I totally good. agree too. Um, it's kind of a combination of of the three typical styles of autumn beers, which is cool because I haven't had anything quite like this before. No. I haven't been to this brewery, but um, it is different from your normal Oktoberfest beer. So if you find this guy, it's about five point four percent alcohol. Uh, these guys are in Muckleteo, like we were saying. They have a lot of really great beers that are available at Total Wine, grocery stores, obviously the brewery if you're in that area. And um, give them a shot. This is a beer that uh, most non-beer drinkers can drink and enjoy without trying anything too crazy or off the wall. Uh, so if you see it, it's cheap enough, give it a shot. You might enjoy it. It's only around for a limited at a time. So uh, shout out to Diamond Knot and their great, great beer and their cool tap room. Hopefully I can visit sometime soon. And yeah, hopefully we'll see them all soon. All right, guys, so next out of the album vault this week, we've got four more. It's a little bit of a variety. We've got Falling Into Infinity by Dream Theater, 1997. Uh, probably their least popular album out of all of them. Still great, though, if you like progressive metal. The second one, I combined it into, we got The Fame by Lady Gaga and The Fame Monster by Lady Gaga. I don't think either of those need any explanation. You no. know about it, we all know about it. I do. Killer pop record, she's great. Uh, number three is The Family, signed by Atmosphere. Great rapper and hip hop artist. I love his style and delivery. Uh, the material is just very unique and different from other, other stuff of that genre, so I really respect him. That's from 2011. And Far Beyond Driven by Pantera, my favorite metal band, Dimebag Darrow, Phil Anselmo. It's just undeniably just colossal riff rockin', explosive thrash. And if you haven't heard it, definitely check it out. Amazing stuff, and that one came out in 1994. Thank you guys again for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Uh, my band, Mr. Master, has our next show on November 2nd at Alma Mater in Tacoma, the next premier music venue downtown, with our good friends in Cashin and Karma. Tickets are on sale now. It's going to be a knockout. It's going to be packed, so you can get your tickets online or through one of us, uh, the band members. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Room 2 for the videography and the editing. Um, before we go any further, we are going to try now one of Master Gardener Dave's blistering jalapeno peppers. They're red, which is concerning. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Good. All right, <laughs> cheers. I All right, here we go. <laughs> this is really hot, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to give a shout out. I might lose it. Man, these are hotter than I ever thought they'd be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna puke. I would like to give a shout out to oh, Master God. Gardener Dave for making the hottest jalapenos ever. I'd like to give another shout out. <laughs> Jesus. To craft services manager Lynn for taking good care of us. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to our legal counselor Allison how for you making sure right we don't now. end in jail. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out oh to our God. CFO Heidi for taking care of all our finances. Brant. Our head of operations uh, Spencer uh, for running the show. 
in my <laughs> never coming on the show again. Oh, cut. Cut. My crew man Sawyer for hanging with me. Thank you guys. And we will see you in a couple days for Tacoma Brewing's uh, interview segment on their broken window IPA. Thanks for hanging in. We're dying. We gotta go. I gotta go. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I just to take a bite. That's a whole <laughs> That's a wrap. Put one of those in a dish. It's gonna be fucking hot. Brad, why would you eat it? I don't know how you held it up. That hurts. Those are hot as fuck. Brad, you alright? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was good. And I know that